All right, today we are doing the 10K Q&A. You guys made this possible, so before we even get started, just wanna thank every single one of you for hitting that subscribe button. You are all amazing. Definitely, definitely a big community of friends here. I think that is incredible. Uh, two things get out of the way. Uh, well, it's kind of two things. It's, it's in related to the room tour that is still coming along. However, I have lights for each of these shelves. Uh, on both sides that I want to put in and I have more figures that are not even in the shelves yet that I want to get in there before we actually do that video on top of um, Having a desk built that is gonna be way cooler than the one that is over there I'm putting over there That is where my desk is so a little hint hint of that basically which of course if you watch my other videos You know that but anyways having desk built as soon as those things are done We will do the room tour and hopefully it will be awesome. Uh, so let's go ahead. Let's get started We've got several questions. I actually think it's gonna be a two-parter uh, we'll just see how far I can get. If I feel like I can get through the rest in a, a decent amount of time, we'll go ahead and make it into one. But let's see how far we can get before we get there to that point. So, and of course, also, I will probably pronounce names wrong. I apologize for sure, guys. I apologize for sure. Let's do this. Uh, SSGSS Uchiha asks, what character do you wish was in Dokkan Battle that isn't in both JP and Global? SSJ4 Transformations. Yes, please. Uh, Super Saiyan uh, Rose would be pretty cool. Super Saiyan Rose Black would be neat, neat to see for sure. I can only imagine the, uh, the Super Tech animation for him, but Super Saiyan 4. Yeah, give us give us SSJ4, Gogeta. I think we'll all be super happy about it. Make the rates super high so we can all pull it, right? Uh, Kid Gamer Extreme 914 asks, if you're the owner of the game, what would you add to the game? I think probably, I think everyone will probably agree with this because I've been thinking this for a while. And I've talked with other people about it, but uh, a way to infinite, infinitely gain um, Dragon Stones. So whether that is like a really hard, like 25, 30, 35, 40 salmon event, but no matter what time I go into the game, no matter what time of the day it is, what day it is of the week, any of that, I can go in and constantly farm more Dragon Stones. It might be difficult, but you're still going to be the people that don't want to spend the time to do that. That are still going to put the money into the game, but then you're also going to be the people that would rather just stay completely free to play. Put the money, put the time into the game, get the stones out. I think that's what I would change because the longer you're in an app, the more likely you are to spend money anyway. So if I can keep you in my app longer, it's more likely you'll go over to that shop and buy some stuff anyway. So that is what I think I would do. Um, at NDACC asks, why did you start YouTube? And someone else asked, why did I start? Why? What made me start YouTube? And what made me want to do Dokkan Battle videos? And for the life of me, I could not find that. I got the notification at some point, and I was like, oh, I like that question. I'll have to, I'll have to grab that and throw that on here. Uh, also, if there were dupe questions, I just picked whoever picked it first. And I think for the most part, we got, I got literally every question that was on YouTube and Twitter. So uh, hopefully your, your question is here. And if I don't actually shout you out, it's just because someone asked that question first. Uh, but why did I start YouTube? Uh, I would say the biggest influencer behind that was the Kind of Funny Guys. If you're not familiar, that is uh, made up of... Uh, Greg Miller, uh, Tim, um, uh, Kevin, Nick, and Colin. Uh, they left IGN to form Kind of Funny, and they just recently built Kind of Funny Studios. If there are any Kind of Funny fans, uh, it'd be cool to put like hashtag best friends down in the uh, down in the comments below uh, because I seriously enjoy watching the crap out of them and seeing them do that. And I, you know, I'd always wanted to get into YouTube for like the longest time, but there was something about them and seeing them, you know, what they had done kind of pushed me that one step farther to finally make the channel and then you know I've been a long a pretty long uh, rhyme style fan and seeing him doing Dokken Battle and, and you know his channel and uh, I like you know I liked what he did with with his content and uh and some other channels like uh seeing Geekdom which was more recent but that was a, like Geekdom started really blowing up I feel like he did anyways around the time my, I actually started doing Dokken Battle on my channel stuff like that like those people were super inspirational for me um, to go ahead and do to do Dokkan Battle, to name drop some other people, uh, Thundershot, uh, Jay Dantastic, uh, I mean, even Living Ichigo. Around the time I, I had discovered Living Ichigo, around the time I put out my first video, I found Living Ichigo. And I was like, oh, this guy, this guy seems cool. He's doing tons and tons and tons of multi summons. Let's watch his videos. So, uh, all those people and many, many more that I'm not even, I can't even think of right now, had a lot to do with why my channel is kind of going into the direction it's going in now. But we're also trying to bloom out and do other things like, uh, like more figure reviews and other games, stuff like that. But Dokkan Battle, of course, will still be at the heart of this channel for sure. And of course, a QA. That's this is completely new for my channel. QA. Freaking awesome. Uh, let's see. Thomas Earl Mate. 
asks, do you have a girlfriend? I actually have a wife of two and a half years. She is awesome. She puts up my shenanigans off camera and on. Uh, when she hears me freak out in here, she's like, well, did you get something good? And I'm like, yeah, I got something good. Of course I got something good. Of course I pulled something incredible. Not, not, especially during my despair. And I'd get, I would get kind of loud on video and she'd think I'd pull something and go, no, straight up despair. Um, Lakeisha Rathod, or Laksha Rathod again, terrible with names. Uh, what is your job? I am actually in IT. Uh, I basically work on computers all day. So um, I troubleshoot like 200 plus programs for our company and uh, I'm, level, I'm level two support on that. I think my actual title is in, in user support analyst. Um, and yeah, that's what I do. That is my job. Uh, Cody Hodges asks, Hey man, my question for you is, would you like more what if cards? I think something like a Super Saiyan Radish. Sure, absolutely. Um, I wouldn't say the crazier the better, but you know, like if we don't see a Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta in Dragon Ball Super, uh, give us a Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta because I think that'd be really cool. It'd be super overpowered and it would break the game just like every pretty much every other new top tier card they're releasing will do, but still would be a ton of fun to see something like that if that is not a thing they end up doing in Super anyway. Um, Ryan Dobe, Duab, asks, what would you want to change in Dokkan Love? So what would it be? Um, I think it can kind of go back to if I was the owner of the game. The thing I would change would be an infinite way of getting Dragon Stones. Uh, actually, we'll change this up. Higher rates. Freaking A. Higher rates just across the board. Make it to where instead of it's a guaranteed SR in a multi-summon, if you do a multi-summon, guaranteed SSR. Why not? I think we can all agree with that. That'd be pretty awesome. You'd still have to do a ton and ton and ton of multi-summons to pull every card, but at least you knew every time I did a multi-summon, you were getting an SSR. At least one. Um, Lacey or Lassie Krakua19 asks, could you do a video about which cards or characters would deserve a Doken Awakening like top five or 10? Uh, actually, yeah, we might. I might could do that. I might could team up with someone, maybe do like a collab, and we talk about the cards we think should have like rebirths or Doken Awakenings. Um, that'd be actually be kind of cool. Maybe some cards that deserve that, that maybe at one time were really good and have since been pretty much pointless, unless you're running a straight mono team and you might pull them out of the, you know, kind of dust them off and maybe use them on a straight mono team. Otherwise, you hadn't seen them in a while. But yeah, sure, that might be kind of cool. We might might get around to doing that for sure. That's a good uh, good video idea. Thank you for that, and we might get get to that for sure uh i say we like i it's not but i'm saying i kind of would want to do a collab for that to talk about it with someone uh lord of water asks will you ever help charity so uh that actually brings me to another another thing i was going to talk about with you guys at some point in time might as well do it right now let's see where am i at what am i at on time we can still answer a few more questions before we part make make it to a part two because that's probably for sure gonna happen i'm only about halfway down the list of questions um yeah so i actually want to get into twitch i think the a, a lot of the times when i think about how can we help charity the best thing is to do like a, a incredibly long stream like six hour stream 12 hour stream 24 hour stream i don't know if i would be up for that just by myself maybe if i get a group of friends to do it with me or team up with another youtuber or a few other youtubers or something but uh yeah i think i'm wanting to start streaming on twitch i'm gonna try and find some time to really lock down like a, a time slot uh, for one day a week and then maybe grow into multiple days a week. But definitely a time where you know like nine o'clock on Mondays and this is this is just like time, this is just a placeholder thing, but nine o'clock on Mondays, you know Nanogenics will be live on Twitch. So if you wanna tune in, you absolutely can. Uh, so yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, I'm trying to get my, my feet sturdy here on YouTube and I feel like I'm starting to I'm kind of get in there and then I want to kind of maybe branch out to Twitch and, and start doing the Twitch thing while also maintaining the YouTube thing. But of course, YouTube comes first. And then if I can handle doing Twitch and sorry, I just I'm having a ton of people tweet at me right now. If I handle doing, you know, Twitch and also maintaining keeping up videos for all of you guys and on YouTube, then that's that then at that point, you know, maybe I can be like, yeah, you know what, let's do let's do a 12 hour charity stream. Why not? Or everyone donates and all of it goes to a, spe a specific charity. That would that would be really cool. Uh, Link fan, Link fans, ninety seven asks, how many SSRs do you have on JP and Global? Uh, let's see, on JP, I would be willing to bet it's somewhere between twenty five to thirty five, maybe. I'm definitely lacking on JP, like no question, no question. Which actually, that's not bad. I wouldn't say that's 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 not a bad amount for sure. Uh, on Global though, minimum eighty five. Probably max 110. I'd have to actually like count. I don't really feel like doing that. And I also don't know why I want to give out like a specific number, but definitely somewhere between 85 and like 110. 
for sure. Of course, that is, I'm talking unique, and I'm not talking farmable. Like, I assume you're asking me, like, how many SSRs have I pulled uniquely in the game? I'm not counting when you Doken Awaken and on events and create those into SSRs and then to URs. I'm not counting those. Um, let's see. We'll answer, we'll answer two more. Maybe three more. Um, <laughs> do you play Overwatch? And if, if so, what on what? Uh, Sword JJ at Flirtish. Uh, yes, absolutely love Overwatch. It might take a back seat because I'm thinking about playing Legion. I have no idea why, but I'm thinking about doing it. Uh, and, and to sum that up, I play it on PC. So, yes. Uh, are you going to do Xenoverse 2 videos from William with a bunch of numbers? Uh, yes, I am. Absolutely. Uh, Xenoverse 2 is probably going to be a very uh, hot thing on my channel for probably all of October and November as soon as I get my hands on the game. So... Uh, yeah, definitely expect tons of Xenoverse 2 on the channel, and we'll pretty much be seeing tons of just Doken Battle on Xenoverse 2 at that time. Uh, Karsten Bailey asks, will you ever collab with Living Achigo? I would be totally down. If that dude wants to do a collab, uh, I would definitely be down to to definitely be a part of that. So yeah, if you wants to do any collab summons or anything like that, absolutely. Helix Gamer, this will be the last, the last question of this video asks i have 100 stones at the moment if i save my stones for the vegeto banner from now till he drops do you think i can pull him of course i can't like in like indefinitely answer that for sure that's so there's so much luck and percentages that go into that we don't even know what the drop rate will be uh whenever he gets here whenever that banner goes live but um i think and also it depends on how much of the story you have left and do you have an allowance of what you're telling yourself like i'm gonna i'm gonna buy like 30 stones every two weeks or every week or something but uh, I think that it, so I pulled him on JP and about 300 stones. So I think that if you can, if you can, I hope that wasn't too loud, it was kind of weird, kind of gross, popping my like elbow like up next to the friggin' mic. Anyways, if you can probably have somewhere between three to 500 stones, which is ridiculous, but if you can probably have somewhere between that, I would say your likeliness is pretty high, but I tell you what, here is some energy. I know this is like super, but there's some energy, maybe, you hang on to that and you don't use it on any banners you might pull super Vegito in like four to six months when we get him on global um and we'll go and answer one more because carson bailey asked one more question favorite card in Doken. my favorite card currently in Doken on jp would probably be super no 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 but overall on jp would probably be that physical broly because i really like that card and on global indefinitely would be the final atonement final explosion uh tur majin Vegito. love that card so much it's an attack all it's a rare chance to stun, and uh, it's super tech animation is amazing, and its card art is the best in the game, like without question. So, uh, anyways, guys, that is gonna wrap up today's video. Come back tomorrow for part two, because I, I just I don't want to sit on this here. I don't want to make like a 30 minute long video. That'd be super intense. Um, but come back for tomorrow, part two. If I didn't get to your question today, more than likely it'll be on tomorrow, or a duplicate of it will be on tomorrow's. Uh, hope you guys did enjoy this. Leave a like for different content on the channel. q and It's cool. I think it's cool. Definitely excited to be doing this for you guys. Um, anyways, guys, Nanogenics here signing off. You guys have a great, great day. Keep on keeping on. We'll see you next video. Bye.